Look at this place, man. Wow. Good morning. Welcome to day one of the Royal Enfield Himalayan Adventure to Rongbuk. So we're leaving from Kathmandu today. Interesting fact. This is a Tamil Nadu registered bike. So as I was saying, these are Royal Enfield bikes. They brought them across for this ride and we'll be using them. So even though I've come so far from home, I'm still riding a Tamil Nadu. Bike. There are a total of 11 bikes, all Himalayans. We have a very short ride today because uh, the border crossing takes time. So today we're just riding to a place 70 kilometers away called Trishuli from where tomorrow we will begin the Nepal exit process and then probably day after do the entry process on the other side both of which are said to take quite a bit of time so even though technically distance wise we can do all of this in one day we have to split this up into three days This is going to be a really interesting ride in terms of weather and altitude. We're starting off from Kathmandu where it's quite warm and we're at a very low altitude. But until we cross the border, we're not going to gain too much altitude and weather should be sort of manageable. But thereafter, uh, there are going to be days when we gain more than 3000 meters in a single day and stay at really high altitudes and we're expecting it to get really cold maybe even sub-zero but all of that aside I mean that will come in the future videos as this ride progresses right now I'm just glad to be on this bike and be rolling again now it feels like I'm truly back in Nepal these narrow lanes winding up and down small hills I love the cities in Nepal, but man, once you get out, it just gets better and better and better. We are not even 20 kilometers out of Kathmandu, huh? This is some reality. So it looks like the 70 kilometers is not going to be just any 70 kilometers. Valuable lesson always learnt in Nepal is never take distance for granted. <laughs> This is incredible, just going in a bus on these roads must be something but look at these guys sitting on top. Some extreme appetite for adventure, my full respect. Let me through on this side bro, road rules don't really apply over here. It's crazy, everybody's going in every direction. Well, I guess there has to be a road for there to be road rules. Can't blame them. 
So we're about 30 kilometers out of Kathmandu and the roads have been absolutely crazy. <laughs> Super fun in fact. I saw some small waterfalls before this and then we spotted this one. This reminds me so much of being in the northeast. Intense jungle. Just off the road by the way, you see all the bikes here. One lesson I keep learning is never underestimate Nepal. If you think a distance is short, it'll make it adventurous. If you think it might be boring, you'll stumble across gems like this. This country and its landscape, I absolutely love it. You're back in Nepal when you get to do this. Do you remember the Kushma Bridge in my videos from the Tour of Two Kingdoms? Whoa, 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 whoa. The exit is always tough. I assume that we should be pretty close by by now. Maybe a few more kilometers. You guys have spirit, my friends. As expected, we were really close. We're now rolling into the hotel at Trishuli. It's called Hotel Water Tower. I'd love to know how it got its name. Hey. This is also not staying on. Need to figure out this luggage securing system. Something is being done wrong. All right, short but fun ride today. It's been really hot and dusty. But you do the leg work for the good stuff. You gotta do it. So we got to Trishuli at about 1.30, almost 2 o'clock and uh, everybody had their showers, freshened up, everything, had lunch and the sun is still out. So we figured we'd just go out, a few of us maybe, we'll just go out and get a look around Trishuli. I saw a river way down from where we are, if possible maybe get to that river. Just basically look around, we're here, there's still sunlight, might as well make the most of it. The only thing is, we sort of got dirty, got clean, now we will get dirty again and then get clean again but What's the point of being on a trip like this if you don't do that, right? There's a river that we saw from up there. So we're currently just trying to get down. Look at these guys having a great time here. Look at that. Wow. To get close to the river has brought me to this route. Which... All right. Found the river. We'll figure out how to turn the bike later. The river Trishuli. Not a bad way to end the day. This is the end of day one. 
Oh, just as I was saying that. It's been one kind of adventure, not very Himalayan yet, but there is some amount of process that we need to get through before we get to the mountains, the Himalayas. So we're doing that over today, tomorrow, maybe some part of day after. And then I have a feeling things are going to be taken up a few notches. This is beautiful. I'm just going to sit here. This is where I end the video. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode.